So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys another neat little trick. Um, and this is how to reflect an animation in the mirror or make it seem as if you're reflecting an animation in the mirror. Um, so you're creating a reflection of something moving. Right? It's pretty cool. Um, so <clears throat> let's start with a uh, symbol here. Now, this is a symbol that I created. I'll show you. I just clicked into the symbol so you can see inside. It's pretty much just a face and I just created a motion tween and just moved it, all right? It's pretty much it, it's pretty simple. So if you play it, it looks like, like so, all right? And it's continuing because it's looping. Um, so that means the, the animation will repeat over and over again. I'll show you, so you click on it, go to properties, and um, if you go to looping, then you see it here, it's actually on loop. If I had played play once, it would just play once and then it would not repeat itself, all right? But I wanted to continue you know, moving over and over again. So basically, I want this animation to appear as if it's um, being reflected in some kind of a mirror or something like that, right? So <clears throat> first, let's create the, uh, I'll name these layers. Uh, and then I'm going to create the um, a mirror here, right? So I'm going to use the rectangular tool and make it something like so. All right, so that's our little mirror we got there, right? Um, good. Now, the, the trick in doing this has to do with um, creating a mask. So essentially, I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna have, this is going to be a mask through which the, um, this is going to be reflected. I'm going to copy this um, symbol. I'm going to put it on this side, and then whatever motion that occurs um, behind this thing, it will only be exposed within this shape. So it's almost like you're, this is a hole and you're looking into it, all right? So your vision is limited. Whatever is going on is limited by what you can see through this. Now that's a pretty, uh, maybe a little confusing, but you'll understand as I go through it. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna make this a, a mask layer, okay? I see a little icon changes here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this copy and I'm going to copy paste so the exact same thing is going to be copied in the um, okay so it's like that so I essentially copied uh, what's on the, the mask layer I copied the same thing and I pasted it on the layer below it so this is gonna be the mirror this will be mask and now I'm going to create another layer, and this will be the actual object that I'm going to um, put behind the mirror, okay? So this animation is going to be copied on the other side. So I'm going to copy, then I'm going to go to this layer, paste in place, and I'm going to slide it across, all right? Now, I'm going to see if I should have it animate. Notice they're going in the same direction. I want this to go in the opposite direction because that's what happens in the reflection. So I'm going to flip it. So I go to Modify, Transform, Flip Horizontally. Okay. So essentially, the um, animation is going to be going in the opposite direction. So this is how it looks. All right. They're mirror reflections of each other. I'm going to make it a little bit closer. So pretty, it'll go pretty close to the mirror, right? And the same for this one, a little close to the mirror as well. All right, <clears throat> now it's time to do create the magic. So essentially, I'm going to make this is going to go in here. It's going to go into here. So notice what I pretty much did was um, I'll undo that so you see what I did. I pretty much just grabbed the layer and pulled it up towards the mask layer and it automatically becomes a sub layer to that to the mask layer see you just move it up until you see that little icon and then that means it's snapped into place all right and once you once you lock the mirror the mask layer then the mask is activated if you unlock it the, the mask doesn't work so see it disappears now the reason why you're not seeing the reflection is because I have to make this mirror object be transparent so now I'm going to 
select it and by selecting it I'm going to now go to color go to alpha the little a 100% means that the color is opaque you can't see it through it by moving sliding it down to say 50 now it becomes transparent see that so now we can see the reflection but you can see this is being shown outside I don't want that so by locking it now you won't see it anymore and there it is so essentially we can just move this a little bit closer All right there it is and if you notice it's passing behind it so all I have to do is just bring this layer up above the mask and then there it is